Okay guys, everyone knows what this is. It's a Mora. More specifically, it's the Mora 511 Basic MG from Military Green. Great knife, fantastic knife. Cheap, sharp as a razor. I prefer the old handle, but this isn't bad at all. Okay, but I'm gonna show you the one thing that comes wrong with these is the unsharpened spine. And I'm gonna show you how to do that as a quick fix without any really sort of fancy tools. Dead and easy, you can do it in the woods. Okay, to show you what I mean. Here's some cotton wool. We all use it for tinder, what well, a lot of us do. And just to show you, we like to use it with a fire steel and the back of our knife. Well, the nut mora, not being finished, won't let you do that as standard. Some do, my Garberg did, etc., but these don't. But what would you expect? They're like six quid, eight dollars, ten dollars. You don't expect it to be perfect out of the box. So what we're going to do, I'll show you what I mean by square spine. This is my Leatherman, I'll show you on the back, just to show you the difference. And there you go, nice square spine, lots of sparks, lights almost straight away. So to show you what you're going to do, to square this off, dead simple, no posh tools, nothing clever. I'm going to take it, bash it into, we'll just adjust the camera there, bash it in, and once again I'm going to use my Leatherman. This time I'm just going to take the file, and I'm going to start grinding the back. I like to do the whole length, some people just do a little bit up here, but I like to do the whole length. I'm not going to bore you showing you this for the whole five minutes it's going to take me. Maybe not five minutes, maybe a bit less. But I'll come back to you when we're nearly okay, there. Okay guys, I've been at this for about, I don't know, five, ten minutes? No, a bit less than that, maybe five, six minutes. And that's started to feel pretty square, pretty good. So, best way to find that is periodically as you're filing it. Grab your ferro rod and just drag it across. Yeah, and that's looking pretty good now. So... Let's try that with some tinder and see how it goes. So we got our tinder, and this time, hopefully, there we go. So, totally different animal, much better, sharper spine. Let's get that out of the way for a minute. Obviously, this is more uses than just that. You can use it to great bark off trees, get yourself to a working surface. Love these mowers. Just cut, 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 cut. And there you go. How to make your mower more useful, five minutes work. Okay guys, so we've sharpened the spine, made this into a bit more of a useful bushcraft knife. The only other thing is, the sheath, the sheaths are fine. They're cheap, what do you expect? I've used one for years and they're fine. But I don't know if I'll make a video about it, I probably will. It's just if you take a few minutes to mess about with the sheath, you can take it from this, which is perfectly functional sheath, and have yourself something just a bit more bushcrafty and all round ready, and also a bit cooler. You know, just a few minutes with some shock cord, power cord. I mean, you don't have to have this. This is a ferro loop holder by Paul Door over at Paul Door Bushcraft. I'll put a link down there somewhere and you can check them out. It's just a good way of adding a fire steel to it. You can just as easy hang it off here for no extra money. But power cord, shock cord, fire steel, and you've got yourself a bit more of an all round more a knife. There you go guys. Mora 511. MG, great knife, great price.